you all hate to be responsible and held accountable for your wickedness. That's why you don't apply these scriptures to your life. Why? Because you love living in sin. You'd rather be out here committing wickedness than trying to follow what's righteous, but then want to sit there and say, I'm saved by the, uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thinking that the Lord is going to deliver you. Let's go, bro. <laughs> This is uh, Proverbs 28, uh, uh, 28, chapter 13, verse. It says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. See? He that covereth his sins, meaning you're not being a doer of the word, you just listening, but you're trying to find a loophole through the scriptures to what? Commit your sin to, to justify your wickedness. So it said, he that covers his sin, what, bro? Shall not prosper. Shall not prosper. You shall not prosper in the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and you shall not prosper in your daily life. That don't mean winning a, winning a million dollar lottery ticket. No, it just means what? The Lord allows you to prosper by what? Giving you an extra $10 on your check. Uh, the, the Lord may bless you with a free drink or a free meal. You see what I'm saying? Number one, more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. Number two, you will have favor on your job with different people. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? Even Allah can't give you no wisdom or knowledge or understanding. Only the Bible. Not no, not no uh, Islam. What she say? Those are Muslims. He heard me when I said that. That's why I said, look at this. Those are Muslims. You can tell them when they had them big old uh, helicopter propeller bow ties on their throat. See what I'm saying? You got any more to that? It said, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. See? Whoso confesseth what? And, for, and forsaketh them. See? Shall have mercy. That's right. What does forsaken mean? Turn away from. That's right. So you turn away from the sins, and how will have, you have by Shemmy Hell Shah will have mercy on you, man. But it said, he did what? It said, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. It said, he that confesseth it. Just like the scripture tell you to confess your faults before, uh, before your brothers. You see what I'm saying? And the Lord will have mercy on you if you confess your faults, meaning your sins, and turn away from your sin, meaning what? Coming back to the law, statute, and commandments of the Bible, the Lord will have mercy. That means what? You done got rid of pride because pride keeps you from, from what? Admitting your faults and mistakes. You see what I'm saying? So that means what? The Lord can deal with you. That means what? You're being a doer of the word and not just a hearer. See what I'm saying? Because it takes a real man to admit his faults and mistakes. You see what I'm saying? Because you got people in the church that say they perfect. They've been saved by the uh, by the blood and, and spirit of the whole of the, not the blood and the Holy Holy Ghost. They don't even say Holy Spirit, they say Holy Ghost of Jesus Christ. I've been saved, sanctified, and filled by the blood of Jesus Christ. You calling on another God, you calling on a demon. Not even knowing it. See what I'm saying? But the Lord is not gonna make you prosper. Why? Because you turned your ear from his word. You're not confessing your sins, and you're not uh, forsaking your sins. You see what I'm saying? I pray over my food. You got folks that sit there and bless they, they, fry, they fried pig ear sandwich. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful meal. How the hell are you going to pray to Satan over poison? You see what I'm saying? People don't think. Why? Because the Lord ain't dealing with them. Because they're not trying to be a doer of the word. Timothy 3, 15. It says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through the faith which is in Yahweh's child. See? What are the two key words that, that could make you, uh, uh, make you, uh, read that again, bro? It said, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. See, we, we're children now. Even in our past life, growing up in Israel, we was children knowing these scriptures. 
That's why I said it will put you, uh, uh, they will give you these scriptures by the way of remembrance, paraphrase. See what I'm saying? Though you once knew them. Go ahead, bro. It said, which are able to make thee wise. See the, see the scriptures make us wise. Go ahead. Under salvation through faith. See, through faith. That's one key word. Go ahead. Which is in Yahweh Shai. See, which is Yahweh Shai. So it says, that's a uh, second Timothy, where you at? 3 and 15. That says, uh, See, what makes you, it makes us wise unto what? Salvation, meaning what? When the Lord come back and destroy this place. Wow, that's a demon right there. Mm, mm, mm. Unto salvation. That's a dude. That's a man's ass nigga. That's why this place got to go, man. But see, the scriptures made us wise to understand that's a demon right there. Unto what? Salvation. When you how about Shimmy, I was shot, come and destroy this place, but it said through what? Through faith in you, how was shot. Meaning what? You have to put your faith into action. You have to apply it to these, to, uh, apply these scriptures in your daily life through faith for what? S salvation from you, how about Shimmy, I was shot. Lord willing, we two of those men. But we're not, uh, but you can't have faith to salvation if you're not applying these scriptures. And, and number one, if you don't have faith in Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shah, then he will deliver you out this hellhole, man. You see what I'm saying? Verse 16 said, All scriptures is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine. See, the Lord gives us his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Through our apostles and elders, and the Lord will still come up with you, even in your own daily life, man. The Lord will increase the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of his word to you. But you got to have faith in order to believe. You, you got to have faith in these scriptures. You see what I'm saying? You can't just sit there and read it and, oh, well, it sound good, and go on with your life. No, you have to have faith in this word to know the, to know the what? That the Lord is going to take care of you in your daily life. You see what I'm saying? That's right. Yeah. Well, the first thing, uh, when I read the scriptures, when I was uh, first got to the truth, and I would read scriptures and I knew I was doing something, the first thing that struck me was fear. Like, man, I'm still doing that. I, I got to cut that off. Well, you know, he killed me. That, yeah. that was, I, I got fearful and scared for my family and myself because, you know, yeah, I would, he'll, he'll hit you where it hurt, man. You know, if he can't get to you, if he think you will just be nonchalant about nothing, he'll go kill one of your kids or something like that, man. So, so the first thing got took over me was fear. I got scared when I would read something and I knew I wasn't, you know, doing it. I would, I would correct myself, but I, if I would read something, I would get scared. Like, oh man, I, I'm messing up. You know. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'm gonna finish reading this. Yes, remember. And it said, it, it, and it is proper, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That's what that's what this this uh that's what the word do, man. It, it corrects you, it helps you get better at, at, at doing what you're supposed to do, man. But you gotta have a man frame of, of wanting to be a doer of the scriptures, man. Not just a hearer and make it sound good like they do in the church. You know, they'll, I, I don't never understood why they'll, they'll read some of the stuff that's going on and still let you do it, man, or say it's okay. Or, or, or tell you you can't eat pork, which is a big thing, and then go right after church and sell pork dinners. You know, that's crazy to me, man. That's right. That's All right. right. Oh. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. It says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and our trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. So like bro said, when he 
first came in the truth, but we still like that today. That's right. We, we constantly fear the Lord every day, man. That's right. But see, that's why the scripture said, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Meaning what? Knowing if we don't follow these laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible, the Lord could kill us. By us knowing that, that's why we, we come out here confidently and boldly and tell you people, look, if you don't get right with the Lord, the Lord is going to kill you. Why? Because we know the terror of the Lord. We didn't see the terror of the Lord. We didn't witness the terror of the Lord. And it's nothing nice. See what I'm saying? And it takes faith to even believe in the terror of the Lord. To know that what? The Lord will jack you up if you don't follow his law, statutes, and commandments, man. You see what I'm saying? People just don't care, bro. They think it's a fairy tale. That's right. A lot of you people do think it's a game. That's why all you homosexual and lesbians, the Lord is going to kill y'all, man. Why? Because you take his word as a joke. When the Lord says you're supposed to put a homosexual or, or a lesbian to death, that's what it means. It don't mean you're supposed to give them gay rights. It don't mean you're supposed to parade them and give them high fives and hugs. No, you're supposed to put them to death. See what I'm saying? That's why a lot of you people are getting jacked up in your life because you're not being a doer of the word. What you got, bro? It's uh, Colossians 3, verse 12. It says, Put on therefore as the elect of the power, holy and beloved. That's one of my favorite scriptures. It says, put on the elect, meaning what? Carry yourself as if you are the elect. You don't know if you're elect, but you're supposed to be doing what the elect does. And what is that? Following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, coming out here on the highways and byways, persuading Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to what? Turn from your wicked ways and follow the Lord. That's what the elect does. The elect calls on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and is not ashamed of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's what the elect does. The elect what? Praise to the Lord. The elect has faith in the Lord to know the what? The Lord is going to guide you and carry you and provide for you through your everyday life. What else do the elect do? Show brotherly love toward their brothers. See what I'm saying? What else do the elect do? Offer yourself as a living sacrifice. What else do, do the elect do?